totally a this anyways. But now it is time for some of the best plays from semifinals, or as Los Angeles can call it, the Penta! You guys are awesome. Dashing in to number five, it was H2K's Odawamne with the surprise cannon ultimate to turn the fight around. Ruler's gonna look for Vander. Vander's caught between a rock and a hard place and he's down. Here comes Jankos. He's throwing down the Righteous Glory, looking for Crown. They traded one for one. The Proto Belt forward for Givens on the board. Cool JJ's dead. It's a one for three. Honestly, perfect timing for H2K. They knew Samsung were pushing for that mid tower. They knew it was just a matter of time before the engage happened and Oda Amna had just a few seconds left on that board. He pulled the trigger. They managed to get the engage and they get a tower as well. At number four, it was SKT's Faker with the game-winning Shockwave. They're trying to keep him out. Rappel gets away from the stun. He goes in for it, and it's secured by Bangi. That is a big deal. SKT, the Shockwave, a shutdown. They've got three already. They're looking to kill absolutely everybody. Rocks Tigers getting wiped off the face of the map. Smith, the only one alive. We were waiting for the big shockwave. Big thing about casting an Oriana game is waiting for the ball control, waiting for the big shockwave. And this was that fight. And this is why I put so much emphasis on clutch players. Faker was truly unkillable as he survived one versus three in our number three play. They do see Faker, and the cocoon's not gonna land though, so can they get anything else? The flash chase, it's Smep onto his face, looking for a little bit more, and he's not gonna go down. Faker, with just the ghost, gets away with it. He knew they were coming. The second gorilla charged at him in an empty lane, he did a minor step upwards, forcing the cocoon to ever so slightly miss this leaves mid lane exposed, but Prey is here to defend. But that was so close. Faker saw the enemy support running at him. He knew he was getting ganked, and then the cocoon was just a hair short. At number two, it was the tag team of Rocks, Tigers, Prey, and Peanut to turn the tide in this 2v4. And now Prey is here, Exhaust is on. One kill picked up, a Faker gets it back on a Gorilla Smep, running out of health and gets shut down as well. But Prey, does he find the targets? Peanut has Guardian Angel, maybe he plays frontline. How much can they really get? Prey turns it back around, looks for Bang, looks for it all. He's got one, what else can he get? It's gonna be Blake in his sights. He's coming back. Faker's low, how much more can they get? The stun's coming in, and it's Duke with the big play, but the turnaround from Prey, turning it back in, the chase, the resonating strike, and the ace comes through for Peanut. And in our number one play of the week, it was Prey's arrow seen around the world. Rox doesn't actually have to stop pushing right now. They can delay the recalls the arrow. with Ash arrows. Look at the arrow. Can he get teleport? He got him! They stopped it! Him. He stopped Duke! Originally, Echo was recalling, canceled it, and wanted to get there quicker, changed to teleport, and it just barely gets there in time. Look at that arrow.